Must save team theorist. Must save team theorist. Must save team theorist. Whoa, that was a nasty nightmare. I dreamt that all the theory channels suddenly disappeared and were never heard from again. No. Hello, Internet. Welcome to my channel, where the only creator that I look up to who hasn't gotten into drama in 2024 is MatPat. And while I wholeheartedly believe MatPat to be a great guy, 2024 hasn't given us great news on him either. On January 9th, 2024, MatPat announced his retirement as the host of the Theory Channels. I think we've been able to achieve something great here. Grandpa Pat is going to sign out now. Then I'll go off to my little shack in the woods, my retirement home down in Florida, and I'll, I'll pop in every once in a while. While this announcement crushed the hearts of millions, it almost felt inevitable. MatPat and Steph have worked harder than anyone else in the YouTube sphere for years, and his stepping aside so others could take the reins, it feels right. I don't want Matt to go, but YouTube is an ever-changing and growing space that is exhausting to keep up with. Before MatPat retired, he announced new hosts would take over the channels. Santi takes over food theory, Lee takes over film theory, Amy commands style theory, and Tom crafts things on game theory. While the general viewers didn't know much about these hosts, they'd been watching their work with Matt's voice for some some time. Who are you? You know who I am. I do. Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Each of them wrote theories for their respective channels and got reps in before they would take the lead. So after March 9th, when MatPat released his final theory, it was time for these hosts to take charge and forge their path. As of writing the script, it's been 156 days since MatPat's final theory, and these hosts have released tens of videos. Since I've been a massive fan of MatPat and Team Theorists for years, can I apply any constructive criticism to each channel? Well, that's the point of the video. So the answer is yes, and we're going to start with my favorite channel, drumroll please, Food Theory. I know, as much as I love game theory and discussing video games, I just love Santi and the energy he brings to his videos. Whether exposing the truth behind expiration dates on food or ruining what I thought a fruit punch, he does it with such energy and his on-camera presence is perfect. It's not just me who watches Food Theory. My mother and brother will watch it with me. The reason why they watch it is because of the name, Food Theory. While my mother doesn't care for Five Nights at Freddy's and my brother stopped watching movies since the revival of Rainbow Six Siege, food is a topic that unites us all. Anyone with a hint of curiosity would want to learn more about spending wisely in the grocery store or how a soda giant like Pepsi is falling out of favor in the States. These aren't questions we ask ourselves frequently, but with a good title and thumbnail, you'll have nearly all of my family parking their rear ends on the couch to watch it. So I don't have much constructive criticism for the channel. I watch nearly every video released and have a great time doing so. I know that the views now compared to when MatPat was hosting the channel are lower, but it's a natural part of this transition. Santi is building a group of viewers who appreciate his personality and style when covering food related topics. But if I were to suggest something selfishly, I'd love to see Santi livestream some of the channel experiments. Whether it's him testing sour remedies or tier listing fast food burgers, I think seeing Santi live could add another point of connection for viewers. We could learn more about what foods Santi likes or dislikes with people in chat reacting live. Santi could reveal controversial food takes that the chat gets to spam L's or W's in response. I'm not smart enough to put something like this together because I know there's a lot of planning and preparation for something like this, but it's cool. Heck, a video about how timers affect stress levels within shows like Chopped, but Santi's getting put through the gauntlet and cooking some meals with a timer live, it could be fun. Once again, I know nothing. I have like two subscribers. But that's all I got for Food Theory, and if any viewers have any ideas, throw them in the comment section. Moving on to the next channel, Film Theory. Honestly, I've never been the biggest viewer of Film Theory. I respect Lee not only as a host, but also as a longtime member of Team Theorist, which I watched long before MatPat's retirement. So I had to watch some of Lee's theory videos to grasp his style, and I think I solved my problem. I'm so burnt out of talking about Marvel and Star Wars. I grew up a massive fan of these franchises, but with the nosedive that they are taking into the awful category, I couldn't take any videos about them seriously. Instead, the videos about the Boiled Ones and the Fallout TV show caught my attention. Now am I suggesting that Film Theory drop any conversation about Marvel or Disney? Ha! You're crazy if you think that. While the general population might not be thrilled with Disney's good to bad movie ratio, it's still a topic that millions of people are interested 
interested in. It would be criminal for a film-centric channel to not talk about it. But at that moment, an idea hit me. You see, GT Live released two videos in which Matt and Lee tier-listed Marvel movies a while back. In this video, Lee shares some Marvel opinions and flexes how much he knows about the franchise. So, what if we get Lee back onto GT Live, but he does something different? A super popular form of content is Easter egg and lore hunting videos for new Star Wars and Marvel trailers that release. These videos get crazy views within days after a trailer or teaser drops because people want to know what they missed. Not all of us have the job of keeping up with film franchises like these, but Lee does. Videos like this allow Lee to flex his Marvel or Star Wars knowledge and provide some fun insight. Now I have to preface, I don't know the full legality of doing something like this or how Team Theorist would accommodate it. I imagine that movie trailers fall into this interesting area of YouTube's copyright detection system because some use popular songs with record labels dying to get some sweet AdSense revenue. I also don't know if Disney themselves will take down trailers or copyright strike channels for this, so this could be a fat nothing burger that I'm serving. There's also an added logistics layer concerning Lee's schedule. What if the guy is too busy to record and his schedule doesn't allow it? A lot of extra layers are added on top of this, making the situation more complicated. But even when Matt and Lee sat on the couch to watch the boiled ones, it was a fun episode. This makes for a great segue into something not as entertaining, the uncertainty concerning MatPat's future on GT Live. In this clip, MatPat states he's on GT Live for the foreseeable future or till summer. It wasn't 10 episodes, it, however many episodes are left between now and March 9th, we got those. Uh, I'm going to be on GT Live from now until the foreseeable future, probably until the end of the summer. That feels about right. Now, I will formulate my theory, a GT Live theory, that Matt was trying to stick around for the FNAF 10th anniversary. He's been covering this franchise thoroughly for so long, and it's something he's earned at this point. With games like Into the Pit, My Pop Goes, and the Joy of Creation demo being announced in advance, MatPat should get to see this before teleporting out of the YouTube space. Once all this FNAF anniversary hype is over, we don't know his plan for GT Live, and his role going forward, which gives me a perfect chance to preface this announcement. I am not trying to push MatPat off his channel and into complete retirement off the internet. I still need to cover style theory and game theory, but I want to establish that before I even venture into those channels. Matt, you're awesome. I don't want you gone. I'm just saying that you and Lee dissecting new trailers for upcoming films would be cool. Maybe Lee doesn't like being on camera. Well, what do I know? Moving on to style theory, this is the channel I know the least about. Like food theory, skincare, and fashion are topics everyone can get behind. If you're not a menace to society, you wear clothes and care a bit about your appearance. Style theory can provide helpful tips on where to buy clothes or what toothbrush is the most effective at keeping your teeth that bright white. Either way, this channel has a very high ceiling within the YouTube fashion space. That's why I have no constructive criticism as a Team Theorist fan. This channel first launched on February 18th, 2023, and has grown to a crazy 2.73 million subscribers since then. Amy and company continue to post interesting videos and shorts, maximizing their potential as a channel. With time and continued effort, the views will grow as Amy builds a core audience of fashion-obsessed theorists. As far as I know, few channels do anything similar, meaning they're paving their own path. So we just have to give this channel time to grow. And if you're desperate for something, take the creators and fashion show they did as a sign that Team Theorist is willing to innovate. This channel is new and can attract an audience that doesn't care about film theory or game theory. Sorry, Tom and Lee. Speaking of game theory, it's time to talk about the channel we all recognize as the largest. Concerning game theory, this is the channel I've spent the most time watching. MatPat reeled me in with videos like Five Nights at Freddy's Scariest Monster is You and defending Call of Duty Advanced Warfare's regenerating health. If anyone from Team Theorist sees this, please make more Call of Duty videos. I beg you. Personal wants aside, MadPat and company have been on a tear since then, covering massive franchises like Nintendo to smaller projects like Duck Season. This universal coverage of nearly every corner of gaming allowed the Game Theorist channel to grow exponentially. Therefore, I'd like to see Game Theory return to this content. With so many new franchises and more money than ever in the gaming industry, maybe we could see more videos videos about things outside the norm. Take a peek at their last 20 uploads. Five were about ARGs, six were about mascot horror, and only three were about mega popular franchises like Fortnite and Minecraft. I understand that the games and topics Tom and Team Theorist would want to talk about take priority. I don't like to talk about Destiny, so I won't make a video on it. If Tom doesn't like to talk about other franchises, why should I ask him to? I'm selfishly asking Game Theory to talk more about other mainstream franchises I am interested in. Sue me. Actually, just kidding, please don't. Another 
another question I have regarding Game Theory in GT Live is why Tom isn't a regular guest. I assume Tom appearing in front of fans, playing the games he's going to cover in videos, is only a net positive. Even if Tom isn't super confident in his on-camera presence, which I doubt heavily, being with a veteran like MatPat could make for some awesome moments. The original host of Game Theory, playing games with the new host, is incredible. We saw some of this when Security Breach's DLC Ruin was released, and more moments like this would be appreciated by the community. In fairness, this has to be something Team Theorist has already considered. I'm no legal expert, but some issues I can think of easily include moving Tom to the United States full-time. He currently lives in the UK, and I'm pretty sure he's married, so it's not just him he's going to move, it's him uprooting his entire life in one country and moving to another. Also, I will remind viewers, I am not trying to kick MadPad off of GT Live. I am not. Please do not take this as me trying to smite MadPat from the internet. In conclusion, it's crazy to see Team Theorist's impact on the YouTube space, and it illustrates how far you can make it with hard work and dedication to your craft. Who needs NoahJ456 and MrBeast when you have food theory, game theory, film theory, and style theory?